When you hear imagination, what comes to mind? For many, it's a negative term, linked to fantasy or even evil. If that's you, I pray today will be a turnaround as you discover that imagination is one of the most powerful spiritual tools we possess. In the hands of the Holy Spirit, it becomes transformative. Let's explore this further. Welcome to Deshen Wordfeed. I'm Dr. Patrick Oban, and I'm excited to have you join me today as we delve into the Holy Spirit and the creative power of imagination. Through the wisdom and power of the Holy Spirit, I'll be sharing life-transforming truths that will encourage, strengthen, and build you up. Be sure to stay with me until the end, as I'll be praying for you, asking for God's intervention in your life as you apply these truths. Today's scripture is from Genesis 11, 26, King James Version. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language, and this they begin to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. Most scriptures on imagination are cautionary, warning of its potential for evil. In Genesis 11, 26, the Lord states that nothing the people of Babel imagined would be restrained from them. Sadly, they chose evil. But what if they had chosen good? Sin has marred our nature, but God's image in us remains. Imagination involves two key concepts, images or eyes, and creativity. It's the mind's ability to visualize things that aren't yet real. Your imagination lets you plan a trip, picturing every stop before you even leave your home. It allows you to see images of things that aren't real, yet. In the spiritual realm, imagination is powerful. The spirit realm is unseen, and imagination is God's capacity within us to perceive the invisible. Through imagination, God can show us spiritual things. Are you beginning to see? Consider dreams. One of the simplest forms of imagination at work. Dreams are powerful manifestations of our ability to turn ideas into images. Joel tells us that when the Spirit is poured out, dreams and visions will open our eyes to see God's truths. Joel 2.28 Here's where it gets exciting. The Holy Spirit can use our imagination to enable us to see God's truths. Some of you may see pictures in your mind while praying and have dismissed them. I urge you to start paying attention. As you grow in fellowship with the Spirit, your imagination becomes a spiritual lens through which visions come to life. For example, through imagination, you can see Jesus' face based on biblical descriptions like Revelation 1 or images you've encountered. As you visualize the Lord, God's presence fills your consciousness, affecting your heart, body, and surroundings. Additionally, His voice may come as images in your mind. Yes, our thoughts can be evil, which is why the Lord calls us to renew our minds. The more your mind, including your imagination, is renewed, the clearer Christ's face becomes, and the more sanctified your inner images will be. If you only see impure or ungodly images, it's a sign your mind needs further sanctification. It doesn't mean the Spirit isn't in you. It means He's waiting for you to take that step, renew your mind, and let Him lead. Brethren, we have a powerful gift from God, imagination. Use it well. Meditate. Reflect on how the Holy Spirit can exceed what you ask or imagine. Where in your life do you need His vision and guidance? Act on the Word. Surrender your imagination to God today. Ask the Holy Spirit to guide your thoughts and inspire His vision for your life. Practice this daily to develop a habit of Spirit-led imagination. Let's now come before the Lord in prayer. I'd like to take a moment to pray with you as we seek His guidance in using our imagination for His glory. Heavenly Father, thank You for this precious gift of imagination. Holy Spirit, we surrender our thoughts to You. Help us to envision your plans, your purposes, 
and your truth for our lives. Guide us in using our imagination to draw closer to you, to see what you desire for us. May every image and thought be sanctified by your Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us today on Dacian Word Feed. We pray you were blessed by exploring the Holy Spirit and the creative power of imagination and how it applies to your life. If this message uplifted you, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss an episode. Share this with someone who may need a new perspective on imagination through the Spirit's power. We'd love to hear from you. How has the Holy Spirit inspired you through imagination? Let us know in the comments. Join us next time as we continue to partake in the richness of God's Word.